Thanks for joining me today. I'm Aaron Rutten, and I'm going to be reviewing the new Wacom Intuos Small just for you. That's coming up next. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Wacom, but they did send me the Intuos Pro Small. As always, all opinions in this video are my own. The Intuos Pro is a creative pen tablet, which means that you can draw on it with a pressure-sensitive pen, but it does not have a built-in screen. The Intuos Pro can connect to a Mac or PC computer using wireless or USB. I'm reviewing the newest release from this series, and that is the small version. And for clarity, this is the second generation of the Intuos Pro, model number PTH460. So the size of this tablet is pretty small. It's 10.6 by 6.7 inches, and it has a thickness of 0.3 inches. There is also a medium and a large version of the Intuos Pro in this series, and there are also medium and large paper editions. The paper editions will actually let you place a piece of real paper on the tablet. You can draw on it with a special pen and then it transfers it to your computer digitally. But in this review, we're gonna focus mostly on the Intuos Pro Small. The active area or the area that you can actually draw on on the Intuos Small is 6.3 inches by 3.9 inches. That's roughly the size of a postcard. As you can see compared to the medium, which has an active area of 8.7 by 5.8 inches, or the Intuos Pro Large that has an active area of 12.1 by 8.4 inches, they're not kidding, this is a small Intuos Pro. The weight of the Intuos Small is just under one pound, and as you might imagine, the medium is a little bit heavier at around one and a half pounds, and the large comes in at nearly three pounds. The Intuos Pro series supports a multi-touch, so you can gesture with your fingers to pan, zoom, and rotate your page. The Intuos Pro series comes with the Wacom Pro Pen 2, which is a pressure-sensitive cordless and battery-free pen with over 8,000 pressure levels on both the pen tip and the eraser. It also supports tilt recognition so you can shade with the side of your pencil. There are two shortcut buttons on the side of the pen, and there's a switch to enable or disable touch on the side of the tablet. The pen comes with replacement nibs. There are six standard nibs and four felt nibs. Those nibs are hiding inside the pen stand. The felt nibs make you feel like you're drawing with a marker and add more friction. Built into the side of the tablet are six customizable express keys rather than eight. You can use these to invoke shortcuts and commands. And then the center of the express keys is a touch ring, and you can use this to invoke shortcuts like undo and redo, or to resize your brush or zoom in and out of your canvas. If the eight express keys and the touch ring aren't enough, you can also bring up on-screen keys and a radial menu. This will give you access to loads more shortcuts. If you're using a multi-monitor setup, you can easily toggle this tablet to work on any of your monitors using the display toggle feature. As I mentioned earlier, the Intuos Pro Small can be connected in a couple of different ways. First, you can plug it in using the USB-A to USB-C cable. This cable is a little bit over six and a half feet long. And despite being USB-C, the connection is actually pretty strong. You have to really pull on it in order to be able to disconnect the cable. One cool thing about using USB-C is that you can easily reverse the cable to have it go up or down, meaning that you can easily rotate this tablet to be both left-handed and right-handed. Or you can ditch the cable and you can connect this wirelessly using Bluetooth. And I want to clarify that you can only connect wirelessly to a PC or a Mac. You can't connect to a phone or a tablet. I think Bluetooth is a nice change because the previous generation of the Intuos Pro had a wireless receiver and transmitter, and that was just less elegant. So in other words, you don't have to install a wireless kit. All you need to do is pair this with Bluetooth on your computer. As far as what you need to use this tablet, you need a USB port, a Windows 7, 8.1, or 10 computer, or a Mac OS 10.10 .10 or later and the Intuos Pro comes with a two-year warranty. Now I'll show you some of the accessories that come included with the tablet and some of the optional accessories that you can purchase separately. First, we'll start with the accessories that come with the Intuos Pro Small. So of course you have your tablet and you have your Wacom Pro Pen 2. You also have your pen stand, which includes the six standard nibs and the four felt nibs. Oddly enough, the color rings you can use to customize your pen were not included with the Intuos Pro Small, However, they do come included with the Intuos Pro Medium, Large, and some of the Cintiqs. I'm not sure why those weren't included, but if you wanted to, you could purchase those separately. There's also a nice quality PVC-free USB cable that has USB-C A on one end and USB-C on the other. And then of course you have your quick start instructions and warranty information. So those are the accessories that come with the tablet, but now let's take a look at some of the optional accessories that you can purchase separately. 
Should your pen ever run out of nibs, you can always purchase replacement nibs. And you can, of course, replace the Wacom Pro Pen too if you ever lose that. But you can also use Wacom's other pens, such as the Pro Pen 1, the Wacom Art Pen that senses rotation, the new Pro Pen Slim, and lots of other types of pens. Not those. And there's a nice metal case you can get to protect your Wacom Pro Pen too. And now the price. Without the optional accessories, the Wacom Intuos Pro Small is $249.95 in US dollars. And then of course the medium and the large are more expensive. Now we move on to the part of my review where I'm going to share some of the pros and cons based on my own personal preference and experience with tablets. But first, let's add some further context by discussing who the Intuos Small is for. So who is this for? Creatives who are always on the go and work primarily from a laptop. Photographers and photo editors. People who want professional quality pen and touch input on a low profile device. Graphic designers who work in a cafe or travel to meet clients. Audio animation and video editors. 3D artists. Students who are always moving between classes. Creatives who want the smallest and most high quality tablet on the market. And what I mean by that is the Intuos Pro isn't going to have the quality control issues that plague Wacom imitation tablets. Wacom tablets have a reputation for being reliable and lasting for a long time. And last but not least, the Intuos Pro Small might be a great option for OSU players who want a tablet with both pen and touch. So that's kind of a sampling of the type of user that the Intuos Pro Small is geared towards. But who is this device not for? And I'm speaking specifically about the small size here, not the medium or the large. In my opinion, the small is probably not the best option for artists who will be doing primarily drawing and painting, creatives who need to make a lot of large gestures, creatives who need an ergonomic tablet because the Intuos Small can feel cramped to draw on for extended periods of time. If you happen to fit any of these descriptions, please do yourself a favor and spend a little bit more for the medium or the large size. Or if you don't need all the bells and whistles of the Intuos Pro, there's the entry-level Intuos Medium, which has an active drawing area of 8.5 by 5.3 inches. Or you might even consider the Cintiq 16, which has a 16-inch screen you can draw directly onto. So now we'll move on to some of the pros from my perspective. The Intuos Pro is a great option because it comes with the Wacom Pro Pen 2, which is the best pen you can get for a drawing tablet. The pen is battery free, meaning it doesn't require batteries, you don't have to charge it, it just works. The pen also supports pen tilt, and the Intuos Pro supports other types of pens, such as the Wacom Art Pen, which you can use to rotate your brush as you're painting. The Pro Pen 2 also supports felt nibs if you want a different feel while you're drawing, and the pen has a pressure sensitive eraser. Now while there are lots of other pens out there with over 8000 pressure levels, the Intuos Pro offers excellent line quality and a fantastic pressure response. That means the lines are not going to be wavy or jittery when you draw with this tablet, and even the lightest pressure is going to make a mark. The surface of the Intuos Pro has a paper-like feel. Now this might be a con if you prefer a more slippery surface that doesn't wear down the nib as quickly, but I personally like some tooth or grain because I don't like drawing on a slippery surface. One of the big selling points of the Intuos Pro Small is that it's small, it's thin, and it's more lightweight than the larger tablets. This is the perfect tablet for creative tasks on the go. While the Intuos Pro Small is a little bit too small for drawing, I can see this being a great tablet for doing graphic design, video editing, and other non-drawing tasks where a tablet might be more comfortable than using a mouse or a trackpad. Another feature that sets the Intuos Pro Small apart from other drawing tablets is that it supports multi-touch, and the Intuos Pro Small supports Bluetooth so you can connect it wirelessly, which means you don't have to plug in cables and clutter up your desk or your workspace. I think it's also important to mention the build quality as a pro, because the Intuos Pro Small is built with a durable anodized aluminum and fiberglass composite resin. This does make it heavy compared to similarly sized tablets, but it feels very sturdy. And strength is important if you plan to bring this thing along in a bag. There's also that two year warranty that I mentioned earlier. And best of all, the Intuos Pro Small has no parallax. That was a joke. So those were some of the things I liked about the Intuos Pro Small, but now let's talk about some of the cons in my opinion. I think really the biggest one for me is that the small is just too small to draw on comfortably. I mean, you certainly can draw on it, but it would just be more comfortable to get a medium or a large tablet if illustration is what you'll be doing the most. If you're not gonna be drawing on this tablet, then it's a great tablet, and I wouldn't really say that the size is a con because obviously you got it because you want something small. 
But here's a legit con. The Intuos Pro Small does not support texture sheet options. So if you don't like that rough texture, at this point, you don't have an option to get the smoother texture sheet. The Intuos Pro also does not come bundled with free software, like the software that comes with the entry-level Intuos. Another issue I was having with the Intuos Pro Small is that the touch can feel a little bit difficult to control sometimes, and it can even go off unexpectedly while you're drawing. Now, if touch is being a nuisance, you can disable touch, but the toggle switch to turn touch on and off is too hard to find on the side of the tablet. An option to use an express key to toggle touch on and off would be better in my opinion. So there you go, that was my review of the Wacom Intuos Small. I have a few other videos about this tablet that you can check out. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more digital art tech reviews like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.